Jim, I was curious if you had any insight on how Vince McMahon viewed Hulk Hogan. Vince seemed way too eager to move on from Hogan during the height of Hulkamania and was constantly looking for the next guy to replace Hogan. Whether it was, well, it says here Mega Man, I guess Tom McGee. Tom, Tom McGee, McGee, the Ultimate Warrior, Sid, Luger, they all come to mind. I kind of have a feeling that Vince didn't like Hogan because he was too tall, bald, <laughs> and while muscular, wasn't shredded. Well, I don't know about that part, but <laughs> yeah. also the fact that Hogan and Hulkamania weren't WWF made may have what? played a part in it. Um, Hogan could have probably lasted through WrestleMania 12. Well, some of those uh, assessments I don't agree with, but I do. I, I do. Well, find no, it an for, for one thing, I've, 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 first of all, I assure you, Vince never thought Hogan was too tall. <laughs> he never cared whether he had any hair or not, and he, and he thought his physique was fine. That was the whole idea. And and uh, uh, if, if trying to find another like Luger, that doesn't really count. Trying to replace Hogan because once a guy's gone, yes, you do try to replace him. Uh, the only times he tried to replace him or time was, was with warrior because he was fascinated with the guy that had the better body and he was new. Right. And, you know, even though he was a blithering dipshit and a fucking horrible human being and goddamn the worst wrestler ever in the history of worst wrestlers, but it was the merch too. I mean, he was out but selling Hogan merch, for a while yeah. with the merchandise because, you know, he was more kid friendly because a kid would like a, a space cadet like that. Um, but but anyway, but no, I, I wasn't there when he was trying to move Hogan out, you know, all that time. Uh, but he didn't try to move him out for that first five fucking years because he was on top of the world. Then Warrior comes along and now you figure, OK, now I've got two and I need to get behind Warrior as much as possible. And with Tom McGee, I think he saw that was, you know, why wouldn't you be able to have three? Maybe, uh, you know, McGee looked like a million dollars. That was due to Brett being a magician in that one match. And, and the fact that McGee looked like he had all the tools, the body and the fucking size and the athletic ability, just apparently not mentally couldn't put it all together. But no, I don't think that Vince disliked Hulk. Uh, and, 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 and as much as basically when he did move him out in 93, it was because he had stopped drawing, everything had stopped drawing because between the steroid scandal and WCW exposing the business on a fucking daily basis in a bad way and putting a horrible fucking product out and WWF getting all kinds of bad attention on, you know, all the, all the talk shows and his Jerry Springer's and Phil Don Hughes and things, um, everything sucked and Hogan was stale and needed that's the thing. That's no matter how big the star, once he becomes stale in his environment, once he's not only just wrestled all the other wrestlers on the roster and doesn't have any new, fresh dream matchups, but just that he's been, he's been on the same TV. He's been talking to the same announcers. He's been in front of the same looking crowds and the same looking ring. When he went to WCW, he was immediately valuable again because it was a place they never thought he'd be with a brand new cast of characters all around him and a different look in television. And it gives a big star that's over new life. Even if they weren't drawn in their previous place, just because they were stale, it doesn't mean they're done. But Vince couldn't give him a new fresh look in a new fresh place. Cause Vince didn't have a fresh place. So I, I think he was, he was probably trying to move him out because he wasn't drawn in the WWF and Sometimes it, once again, how can I miss you if you won't go away? If he'd have gone away for two years and come back to the WWF, it probably would have been good too, because at least they'd been glad to see him again. But I don't care how good you are, how big you are, how over you are. You can't just stay in the same place with the same people year after year after year. Sooner or later, you get stale. Obviously, you were there to witness firsthand Vince's relationship with Diesel and Brett and Sean and Austin, but did anyone there ever talk about, or did Vince ever talk about working with Hogan, his relationship with Hogan, how different guys compared to Hogan in terms of dealing with them behind the scenes? No, not really, because once that 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 I was there with with Vince on a capacity where we were sitting down talking about other people's booking, he was already in WCW, and all of a sudden, you know, it was, okay, we got to finish these guys off. It's the enemy now. And he and there was not a lot of talk about Hulk except, well, he's over the hill. You know, pal, he's, he's done. His time is gone. 